just this weird thing in her eyes, Ashley. Hmm. Sunshine. Feels weird. Taking Ashley to a play date. What did you find, Ash? Donuts. Whose donuts are those? Dad. Where did you find them? In the garage up high. Dad thinks that he still has children who can't see on the top shelf in the garage. And he tries to hide stuff there. And I'm like, one, your daughter is taller than your wife, Kaylee. And two, all it takes is like stepping back and looking and you can literally see it. A whole box of donuts. <laughs> I don't even know why he got those. Because he's not even like, he doesn't even like those. I don't even know. Funny man, funny man. He went to like a cash and carry. It's like a discount store. I don't even know. A couple weeks ago. I saw him eating weeks it, but ago. I thought he just got one from like the store. And uh, to get like, I think he had to get register tape or something and you can just get it in bulk there. It's for businesses to buy in bulk. But he clearly got, you, you also found his um, cream puffs from Costco, didn't you? He went last minute to Costco one night after work and came home with, I don't know what it was that he had to go for. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. But he came home with cream puffs in the freezer. And it's like, how are, we're, th this one and Abby will find. Jelly. Oh, he went to get jelly. Yes, he went to get jelly. Um, and so, anyway, funny man. But this girl's going to a play date. Your friends are still texting you. <laughs> They're literally, I'm going to pick one of them up and I'm dropping them both off at their friend's house who just got home from Palm Springs. It is always rough when your kids' friends go on vacation during break. Would do it fast though. Really? You're gonna put that back there? Your friends are driving me nuts. Hang up on it. Like I'm on my way. Text them, Not even. don't even text them. I'm on my way. Um, but when their friends go on vacations on the opposite break, we had midwinter break and we have spring break. And when all of them right now went on break, they went somewhere except for Lizzie. So Ashley was able to hang out with her this week, but it gets a little difficult. So when they all get home, it's very exciting and we want to go play with them, correct? Yeah. So, oh, there's the garbage can that I bought. I was wondering where that was. Yeah, put it by that seat because that's where all the garbage is. Um, and then I will tell you what I am going to go do. Have fun. Ash, did you get your pants? <laughs> did you get the pants? Her mom is making them go outside into the sunshine. Can you? Yeah, I can. Oh, this is my shirt. Oops. Are you for real? Bye. Let her borrow a pair of pants if you come outside. Okay, well, be cool. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. let the sunlight in so you guys can see me so I did end up getting some flowers and a bar of chocolate um, I thought this one was actually really cute it kind of looked cute with the flowers but it's also just a plain chocolate I um, as you saw from yesterday's video if you watched that I I wasn't necessarily in an emotional state for the rest of the day but I did wake up at like one in the morning and I realized that I was sobbing, <laughs> just crying. One, thinking about this, but also thinking about the other things in my life and my thoughts that are causing me emotional, not trauma, stress, thought, just, there's just a lot that I don't share with you guys because it's extremely personal and it's all kind of in my head. And something like this I think is what kind of triggered that um, and let the emotion out because I haven't 
it doesn't necessarily relate to any one person um, necessarily and so it's not like it's anything anyway I, I can't really describe it without describing it but um, but I think that the thing that was like getting to me the most is something that like I have been one working on myself um, in, in order to do and that is to make sure people around me are seen and uh, that like because I know how much it means to me when someone like sees me. Like, I'm trying to get you better light here. I know what it means to me when someone reaches out to me or does something for me or even just says something to me like, are you okay? Like, are you really okay? Um, and so I know what that feels like and I want to make sure people around me, um, especially in my small circle, um, it's gotten smaller over the years and I want to make sure that the people that I'm having in my little circle in my little world I want to make sure that they know that they're seen and that they're in my world like that They are important to me that they mean something to me and yes I don't know any more about this lady that gave me the gift card yesterday um, She lives by me her kids go to my kids schools um, But I don't know anything else about her other than that she really struggles and it meant a lot to me that she did that for me um, to make sure that I felt seen. And this is a very small um, thing to make sure she feels seen. Um, and I just want to make sure she knows that I'm really appreciative of what she did for me yesterday because it just kind of was like a good, a good moment and um, I just wanted to tell her thank you. So I'm really hoping she's at work. <laughs> I'm hoping she's here. Um, and if she's not, I think I'll come back, um, in a couple hours because she works every single day. So I'm, it's really hot in the car. <laughs> I'm going to get out and go take these to her. And I'm not saying this, I'm not drawing attention to myself like, oh, look at me. I'm taking flowers to someone. I just want, I'm only bringing the concept of like the people that are here in, in your life, if you feel like you don't have very many friends or you don't get to go out very much or then find one person and make sure that they feel seen and I promise you that will be reciprocated if you treat people in your circle um, like if you truly care about people like make sure that they feel seen and that's why I'm mentioning it because it's been a kind of a harsh reality to realize that friends that I've had for probably 20, 25 years weren't really friends or that it was just kind of a surface level friendship that they could just check off, oh look, I have 300 friends. I have, you know, so I think you know what I mean. And so I just wanna make sure that the friends I do have in my life are actually like important to me and that they know that they're important to me. So that's my little two cents. All right, I am, I have about eight minutes until I have to go to a scan, but Chelsea just texted this to me and I want you guys to hear it. She pulled out the kalimba again. We got this for Christmas from one of you guys and she learned a new song.
All right, found a new place to prop you up. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Here's on top of my notebooks. My little stash of notebooks. That's where you're at. Um, I have been in here in my office um, pretending like I was going to work on a computer and edit a video. Instead, I watched um, Hell Camp, I think is what I watched, um, about wilderness camps. Watched that on Netflix, ate my dinner, and then now I have just been cleaning out my drawers down here just a little bit. I was trying to find um, an envelope that I use for money for all of our travel. I ended up finding a bunch of things to throw away. So tossing that stuff. Oh, there we go. Dried up little Clorox face. I don't even know what they are anymore. Clorox wipes. But they've probably been that in that drawer for a long time. Also, I found these cute glasses. My sister's wonderful dog, <laughs> Doobie, not Doobie, uh, Zoe, chewed on these glasses. You aren't going to be able to see. Chewed on these glasses, including the lenses, front and back, all across the, um, the frame to the point where, like, there's, like, it's, like, the coating has come off and it's like super jagged bite marks anyway her wonderful dog ruined my glasses oh see they're just she got the tips here so exactly what just happened happened it catches on every ounce of hair so i'm trying like bypass my hair they still are the right prescription are any of you familiar with these glasses when i had them have you been around that long now I can't stand the look of a dark frame. <laughs> I actually really enjoy having no color. So I'm gonna throw those away. Um, found that from <laughs> probably from Abby to have like travel ice packs in case we needed them going back and forth to her doctor's appointments post surgery. I think that's all. Turn off my flashlight here on my phone. I'm using it to look into the drawers. So I um I've obviously showered. I did the everything shower. I'm shaved. I'm clean. Uh Jace. Jace went to his Yeah, I just you know, I just wanted to know if you want to say hi to the ladies. <laughs> He hasn't, I haven't really even talked to him since he got home. He took a shoe to his business partner who doesn't go into his store very often. He's pretty much oh, retired. We're talking to these ladies. Well, I, apparently I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in that category of ladies. They're no, like, the ladies. Oh, these ladies. <laughs> Why would you talk to those ladies? Whatever. I had plenty of I have plenty of men talking to these ladies today and yesterday, believe me. Uh yeah, I'm good. I'm seating. Okay. Should we play a game night? Have a game night? I'm tired. Okay, I'll talk to I'm you. A, I'm I'll if Chelsea wants to play, I'll play a game. Okay. It's like eight o'clock. I'm ready to go get into bed. Um anyway, I picked up Ashley from her friend's house and I've just been doing this ever since. Getting showered, cleaned up eating dinner, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, not doing much else. Um, Jason's off tomorrow. I need to clean my car and I will show you that mess. It's, you guys think that Ashley's, I might be exaggerating how messy she is. <laughs> she gets mad at me when I mention it, so I shouldn't, but I need to clean out my car and, um, I don't know what else we're going to get up to tomorrow. The last day of the kids spring break or midwinter break break I should say I'm going to a weekend of get them ready for school again next week and um oh maybe we'll go upstairs I yeah we'll go upstairs because I think I'm ready to go that way um I think I need to take that trash out but we're gonna make that tomorrow's problem um I've got my little ambiance right there which is kind of nice, but then I turned it off. Okay, so we're gonna head out. Done watching that show. 
oh, let me turn off the computer here. But I'm going to show you a little bit of what I was doing upstairs after I took my shower. But I'm going to save the rest of it for another day, another video. Also, if you know Abby's state when she bakes, she's doing good. She made us cookies and I mean, this is from Jason's dinner. He's cooking more. Yeah, she baked today, so she's feeling good. Hey, Ash, there's a few dishes for you to load tonight, okay? Oh, Chelsea's down here. Oh, ah, oh, you can't even see her. Changing your location up tonight? I'm waiting for my <laughs> Oh, I should have known. <laughs> All right. All right, well, here, that's what you get. All right, this is what I was doing up here. I'm starting to pack for a little trip of mine. I will do a whole video on how I am going to pack this bag for my next travel, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. I've already started. So I've got a lot of clothes going on in here already. Um, I, honestly, I honestly wish I could just travel with this one and not anything else, just this one in my crossbody bag, but I will explain why I need to take another suitcase in that video, so stay tuned. These are all the packing cubes and a backpack, plus I ordered another one. <laughs> I ordered another one, they're so good. And I have laid out my clothes for Hawaii because I thought I was gonna need to use this bag, um, but I don't think I will. So I was kind of pulling that one out and all this stuff. Um, so I kind of need to like fold it up and like kind of tuck it away again because I'm not packing for that yet. I just needed that bag or I thought I needed that bag. Um, but I will, I mean, I always like to do packing videos like on their own. And the reason why I'm going somewhere and the place that I'm going has its own story. So I just want to make it all in one and then we'll go on that journey. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going, the lighting is up, up here is awful. Um, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> We've done like white lighting downstairs in a lot of the rooms, but haven't done that up here in this room. And we have like really crappy lighting. That's the only bulb in here. There's no, I don't even know why they made this whole room. There's no other light. I have a lamp. This is a lamp I had in high school. I'm, I'm kind of a cheapskate. <laughs> Haven't bought a new lamp for this. But I'm gonna end our day with you guys. Um, I didn't mention um, how it went when I went in with those flowers today. Um, she was working. Um, I'm not gonna say her name, it's fine. Because um, I think she gives me like an American name um, that she goes by, but I don't think it's her real name, so. Just out of respect for her. <laughs> Not that she's probably ever gonna see these videos, but. Um, so I went in and I gave her the flowers and the chocolate and, and I just said thank you. I said thank you for yesterday and immediately started almost crying. Like her eyes teared up and she's, you know, she just was like blown away. Um, gave her a hug. She just kept saying thank you, thank you, thank you and looking at the flowers and smelling them and kind of like, why, why? And I was like, because you were nice to me. And gave her a hug again and then I left and um, I walked out the front door and I had passed, someone was behind me in their car when I was talking to you guys on the camera, showing the flowers, getting ready to go into the, the salon. And I thought maybe she was the manager of the salon, but I wasn't sure. But when I came back out of the salon, she was coming in from her car. And she's like, I thought that was you, with, that was you with the flowers. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, why did you bring flowers? And I said, you know, they're for her. And I, the door was open. I was letting her into the store and I pointed to who I gave the flowers for. And she, and I just walked out and walked down the sidewalk and so I don't know. I didn't need to explain anymore. I think a lot of them know you know, this little 
give and take friendship that I'm, you know, we both are offering each other in the ways that we can. And am I, is she ever going to be a person that I sit down and have like girl talks with? No, but if I can like make her feel like someone sees her, then that's a very simple task for me to do. And I can do that for her. So, um, anyway, that's it. I'm going to sign off and I was going to maybe read an actual book, like a physical book in my hands, but the pillow looks really, like really enticing right now. <laughs> so everyone else is downstairs. Um, like Jason said, we might go, I might go back down and um, play a game or something with them, but, um, I'm also just tired. I'm not ready to call it a good, a good night. So I will see you guys next time. Take care.